Yeah. Hi, we're going to make biko, a Filipino biko. So first, we have a kilo of glutinous rice. Glutinous rice, malagke. Um, panela. In Spain, uh, sa Spain, ano to eh, um, pa, sa Pilipinas, parang mas kubado. So, parang literally, ano siya, brown sugar na matigas. Sa isang kilo, ang ginagawa ko, yung, merong isang malaki nito, there's, uh, there's another one that's so big, but there's this one as well, that it's, actually, this is four, small. And each of this is 454 grams. Ah, dalawa pala. 400. So, and, <clears throat> One uh, can of coconut cream and one half teaspoon of salt and a small pieces of because we are Bisaya. We are Bisaya. Luya. Luya uh, ginger. In Hebrew, in Spanish. First thing that I need, you need to do, you need to isain, I mean, boil the, the malakit first. So for me, I usually uh, yung yung sukat, yung sa measure. Yung, measure the, the malakit. Kasi, um, my measuring is one cup of malakit, malakit, one cup, one cup of glutinous rice, Equals three fourth of water. Two. Wait. Look at five two. Four. Five and a half. Five and a half. <clears throat> but of course, kailangan mo natin hugasan yung malagkit. I usually, I always do wash my legit. So, I'm going to put it here. But it's not a color. So, ano yung sabi kanina? Ang pagbigis. But you said you're going to wash first. Yeah, I'm going to wash, but I normally boil the water. So I'm going to boil it. Okay. 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 Ayun, mga... One-fourth. Ganun. ko kasi, we don't have the rice cooker. Pag hindi kasi sa rice cooker, didikit eh. So, ang gagawin ko, pagkanda yun yung gamit ko, I usually... I usually boil the, the water first, and then when it, when it boils, I will put the... I will put the malagpo. <coughs> and I start making it. So now while, while I'm preparing the water, I'm going to wash the malagkit. Kailangan talaga ng hugasan eh, kasi it's been, it's been in the, it's been everywhere for quite some time. Meron siyang mga preservatives na nakahalo. Kung galing siguro sa palayan, mga organic, hindi na hugasan sa palito. It's really important to wash it. Very, very important. <clears throat> so we'll see you again when the the water is boiling na. And I'm going to show you at what what else I'm going to put together with the milk. As you can see, the water is boiling na. So I'm going to put the uh, ginger. ginger and. Uh, Half a teaspoon of 
salt. I'm going to put now the malaket. Kaya ako ginagawa ang procedure na ito kasi makaiba sa lahat. Uh, to avoid na hindi didikit yung ano yung malagkit na sobrang tutuyo na siya. Tapos baliktarin nyo lang yung sandok. Kasi sa Pilipinas, I remember my mother when she boiled the malagkit she keep on stirring it until the very end. So, I'm going to wait when it boils again. I'm going to stir it again. And then I'm going to lower the fire uh, to medium para hindi siya didikit. <clears throat> and then, pag medyo tuyo na siya, when I keep yun, haluin ko pa din. Pag tuyo na siya, tsaka ko sa siya tatakpan and then ilagay ko ulit yung fire ng very, very low. So we'll wait. Couple of minutes, no, seconds. It will start to bubble again. <clears throat> start. Huwag kayong mag-alala kung ang, ano eh, kung ang saing nyo is, ano eh, sinaing nyo na malagkit ay hilaw. Kasi mamaya, lulutuin pa naman natin siya sa latik. So, mas, mas hilaw ang malagkit, mas okay kasi, para hindi siya lata pag niluto mo sa, sa latik. So as you can see, the 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 water started to ano na to to move. So I'm just ahaluin lang natin siya, kasi to prevent na hindi siya mudi. I can feel na ngay dumikit na siya dun sa ilalim. Kasi malagkit so brang bilis na. As you can see, so may init na may init sa ilalim. So pag hindi niyo siya ahaluin, so brang tigas na ngay sa ilalim. Madikit na siya. So, ibababa ko na yung temperature to medium. The temperature. And I keep on stirring it. Sa bisaya pa, para musiko. <laughs> diba? Walang kumpanya sa kagano. But if you're in the Philippines, there's a lot of coconut. Instead of water, you can use coconut. Coconut uh, milk. But since dito sa Europe, it's expensive, the coconut milk. That's why I'm just using water. And I'm going to use coconut milk into my, into my latik. Narinig nyo kung gaano siya, paano sa ilalim. Dumidikit na siya. So, sunshine nyo na lang. Um, actually, yung pinakita ko sa inyong luya pala, hinati ko yan. I split the ginger that I showed you a while ago. Half, I'm going to put, I, I'm, I'm putting it here, the half of the ginger. And then the, the, the rest of the half, I'm going to put it into the latik. Nakita nyo kung gaano kabilis. So, pag hindi ka careful, napakabilis, ma, madikit. <clears throat> Then pag gano'n ito, meron akong nakaredy lagi pinakulo ang tubig. Kasi natuyo ko siya kagad. Tapos, sobrang hilaw pa niya. Dadagdag ko siya siguro ng mga half a cup of water. Boiling water. Tapos, ibababa ko na yung temperature niya into very low temperature. Tanda niyo, very low. Ano yung tatakpang ko na siya? For about 5 minutes, titignan ko ulit siya. Kung luto na. Turn 10 minutes, ito na yung itsura niya. Malalaman niyo na pag ready na siya kasi ganito na yung texture. 
Nakita nyo yung difference kanina. But, sa 10 minutes, <laughs> sa 10 minutes na yon that 10 minutes na sinabi ko is, every 3 minutes, binubuksan ko siya at hinahalo ko siya. Para, hindi siya masyadong maraming dikit sa ilalim. Tsaka para buwag hag siya, hindi siya dikit-dikit. So, bali, tatlong beses ko siyang binuksan at hinalo. Tapos, ito yung pangatlong beses na binuksan ko siya at hinalo. Tapos, ito na yung itsura niya. That means, ready na siya. So, um, papatayin ko na yung apoy. Tapos, um, titikman ko. Hindi siya lutong-luto. Hindi ko din siya hilaw na hilaw. Medyo matigas pa din siya. Pero, maganda yung konting hilaw. Kasi para pag niluto mo na siya sa latik. Hindi siya hilapa. So, habang nagpe-prepare ng latik, naka-off na yung apoy natin. And then, we keep the lid closed. <clears throat> and, I'm now, I'm going to show you how to make my own version of the thing. I'm going to transfer this here. So I'm going to use this one here. Again, remember that I still have the half of the ginger. The ginger. So just put that one there directly to the pan. Sayang to, you can see, di ba, may gatapa. So I'm going to put one quart of water. Tapos, lilinisin ko yung mga natirang gata. Kasi sayang. <clears throat> Buti kong nasa Pilipinas na yun. Maraming yog. Dito, bawat patak ng gata. <laughs> Coconut milk here is limited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna use this one. This. So, I'm just going to <clears throat> wait that one to boil. And when it boils, I'm going to show you how I'm going what's the procedure of my latte see you when it boils see now it started to boil so I'm going to put the sugar the panela mas cubado the sugar the hardened sugar going to stir it. I think more or less mga 10 minutes din. And then pag makita nyo na nag-caramelize na siya, nag-reduce na yung liquid na tunaw na ito siya. Tapos uh, brown na siya. Caramelize na siya. Tsaka natin ilalagay yung ano, yung yung malagyan. So, walang humpay na haluan. <laughs> So, see you in a bit. <laughs> After 10 minutes na walang tigil <laughs> na paghalo, iyan na siya. Mm, sticky. And the panela is already melted. And the liquid, the basic, uh, literally the, the coconut milk is already reduced. So, I'm not going to reduce it more because our malagkit is still a little bit of hilaw. So, I'm just going to put the malagkit directly now. I'm going to lower a bit the fire. Kasi...
As you can see, the malagkit is not over overcooked and it's not very hard either. Kasi when you cook them so uh, when you are going to overcook them <clears throat> pag inihalo nyo na sa latik ano na siya? Masyado ng soggy. Masyado ng latang lata. So, kaya, yan yung rason na kaya sinadya ko na medyo less yung water. Pag isinain ko siya. At medyo hilaw siya kasi. Sabi-sabi saya. Lagi sinasabi ng mama ko. Ipasiko. So, pag malambot na siya, pag halo ka ng halo, lalo siyang malata. But if, a little bit more pa siya. Moy, ang sarap nito sa tablia. We have a and hi, our mango is not yet. We have organic, well, organic, ripe. um, organic chocolate, pure organic chocolate from the Philippines. So this is very good. Actually, the sugar is not so brown though. But add more. No, this is really sweet. I don't really like malagkit. This is so sweet. <clears throat> I know this is the challenge starter. So you're going to <clears throat> keep on stirring until it becomes dry. As, as you can see, there's still a bit of uh, latik. So the, sabi nila, well, my mom always said, for you to be able to make a very good malakit, you need to stir it for like, I don't know, 20 or 10 minutes until it becomes translucent. You're going to see the difference later eh, when it's ready. But... This is a good, a nice exercise when you are in a quarantine. So just don't stop staring it. So more or less, I will, I will see. I will, I will show you the difference until ten, fifteen or twenty minutes. So ito na after a total of ten, uh, fifteen minutes of non-stop na halo. Can you see the difference? Yung texture kanina at saka ngayon. Kasi ito yung sikreto ko. Yung sandok binabaliktad ko. Para mabilis, madali kang makagalaw sa sandok mo. Kasi kung yung malapad, mahirap halo. Tapos ito, gamit ko yung kasirola ng aming pressure cooker. Kasi maganda yung pot niya. Hindi siya masyadong madikit. As you can see, this is already ready. So, papatayin ko na siya. <clears throat> papatayin na siya. Sa Pilipinas, usually ginagawa ng mama ko is hindi muna kakainin yan. Eh, merong ano dun eh. Dahon ng saging. Tatakpo ng dahon ng saging. I'm going to cover with banana leaves for about 5 minutes. Or if you don't have banana leaves, you can use new, uh, old newspaper. Para kang gumagawa ng paella. Old newspaper. Eh, well, wala kami old newspaper. <laughs> I'm going to use a kitchen paper. For about 5 minutes. And then, after 5 minutes, it's ready to eat. See ya. So, here's the finished product of the Biko and we're also making the hot chocolate. So let's dig in. Okay. Mm.